All right, so this is problem 15. Problem 15 is pretty much, they give you this graph. This graph is F. It looks something like this. And then it asks, which of the following is a possible graph of, of an antiderivative F of, of the small f? So here's A, B, and C. These are the possible choices. Um, so you're given F, and you want to find an antiderivative. So you want to go backwards. Now, what you want to do here is pretend, well, one of these is your, your F, right? And pretend, let's take the derivative of each and see if it coincides with this one. Because if the antiderivative of this is one of these, then the derivative of one of these is this one. Okay? So I'm going to start off with C. So let's look at C. Between 1 and 2, this has negative slopes. Right? So negative values. However, between 1 and 2 here, this has positive values, because they're on the positive y-axis, they're positive. So it doesn't make any sense that C is the right choice right off the bat. So I can go ahead and just cancel that out. Okay? Let's look at B now. So between um, 0 and, and 2, this has positive slopes, right? All positive slopes. And that's fine, because these are all positive y values. So I'm from 0 to 2, these are all positive y values. At 2 and 0, so that means that there's a max there, that's fine. However, now, let's see, it's decreasing from 2 to 3. So, negative slopes, and that's fine. From 2 to 3, we have negative values, that's good. Then there is an extreme out of 3. Yeah, uh, okay, there's no extreme out of 3 here, because it does not cross the 0 there. So, right off the bat, this one is not it either. Okay, let's look at A. So, A has to be it, because B and C are not it, but let's look at Y, it's A. Okay, from 1 to 2, we have positive slopes. Okay, good, from 1 to 2, positive slopes. And there are positive y values here. From Sorry, from 0 to 2, positive y values, that's good. At 2, it's 0. At 2, there's an extrema, that's good. And then it decreases, so the slope is negative from 2 to 4, right, from 2 to 4. And from 2 to 4 here, this, it's negative, yes. This, all these are negative values, so that's good. And then at 4, there's an extrema. Therefore, there's an extrema. That's good. And then from 4 to, and on to infinity, this is increasing. So that's increasing. And that makes sense because all the slopes here are positive. So these all y values are positive. So A is the right answer. And that's pretty much how it is.